Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Live with Naz, an hour of laughter and encouragement coming to you from beautiful Corona, California. Today is show number 401. Yes, 401. Did I say that right? 401 shows, people. Come on, live show. Let's do this. Okay, I know it's live. So let's invite our friends from the other side to join us. And okay, here we go. Come on, people from the other side. Welcome. Okay, here we go. 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 Okay, okay. I got it. Thank you, people. People from the other side can't wait to get in. They feel lively today. Not bad for people from the other side. Okay, let's see. Let's get them all. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on, beautiful people. And here we go. All righty. All righty, all righty. Let's see. What do you got? Your Apple ID and phone number are new and being used. I know that. I know that. Reset password. Do you say that password? No, don't allow. Not right now. Okay, here we go, 401, show number 401. Okay, let's see who's joining us tonight. I know I can guess without guessing, Sarah's here. Hi, Sarah, come on, everyone. The door is wide open, Bobby Miller, welcome. Becky Ottenberry, how are you? Michael Ramirez, my beautiful person, how are you? Naz is lost in the woods. I am, oh. What's, what's your business here? We, we said Naz is lost in the woods. Thank you. All right, let's see who else is joining us. Michael, Dave Ebert, how are you, Naz? Did you ever know that you are my hero? You're everything I wish I could be. Wait, that's a song, brother. You should make this into a song. I'm um, have Bette Midler sing it. That would be great. All right, Rita's here. It's going to be a good night when Rita's here and Dolores is here and Betty o Becky Altenberry is here and Matthew Dirks is here from Warmer, Wisconsin. Welcome to Warmer, California. Amy is here from Highland. Some lady ring doorbell today and didn't leave a card and standing for 20 minutes. I have no clue what you're talking about. But that's Beverly Wicks. Welcome from Virginia. All right. Okay, and let's see, Rochelle is here from Oregon, and if your name is everyone, hello. Nice campground, Naz, you have in your background. Thank you so much. This looks like Washington State. Dave Ebert, hola amigos, she wanted your tax money. That's what she did. Okay, happy Monday. What's the contradiction? Oh, happy Monday. Yeah, that's a contradiction. We love John's new video on TikTok, yes. Yeah, John is back. He is safely back and uh, had a wonderful time driving the snow. And Naz, you're snipe hunting in those woods. See, guys, this, this whole injury is still there. And I thought it would go away, but my doctor said this is scar tissue. So it should go away. But here's my thought. Some of you know when I first came to this country, the first day I came to this country, I got, I got ripped off. Yeah, <laughs> that was the last time I got ripped off. And uh, what happened is I arrived at JFK Airport, and the next day I was, supposed, I was going to Toledo, Ohio to attend the school, to get into the dorm. And so anyway, so I came out on, you know, there was two signs, said citizens and others. I went into the others. I got into the airport. Everything is fine. I had my visa. And some guy, I think he was from Haiti or D Dominican Republic. He's like, hey, you need a, a ride? I said, yeah. So he picks up my luggage from the baggage claim. And I'm like, what a nice guy. And then he takes me to his car. I don't think it was a cab. I, I think it was a cab, but I didn't see any meters or anything. <coughs> so he goes, where are you going? I said, I'm going to, I, I want to find a hotel near here. 
and um, uh, that's for the night. So anyway, so he drives me for like 10 minutes and, you know, check me, get me in a hotel. And I said, how much do I owe you? So he opens the book and starts looking at numbers and he goes, $187. We're talking 1984, people. 187, I'm like, wow. Whatever money I have is not going to last me at all if a ride, a 10-minute ride, is going to cost $187. So I paid him $200. It's like, hey, it's a tip. Well, I walk in into the hotel lobby. I ask the lady at the counter. I said, excuse me, how much is the ride from JFK Airport to here? She goes, not more than $15 in 84. I go, I just paid $200. She goes, oh, honey, you got ripped off. These are con artists. He's a con artist. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't trust any artist right now. If people call me an artist, I, I doubt, you know. What do you think a con artist, does he have a gallery? Like, can they have their own gallery, their own, like, studio? Or you can go and see the gallery and see everybody that... They, you know, they they cheated, they they conned, and you know, look at this person, you know, that's two hundred bucks. I conned him and smiled, Victor smiling, and you know, just different pictures of people who were conned by this con artist. Okay, so anyway, that's what happened to me. Scammers, right? Sure, he wasn't from Haiti. So they, <laughs> that's funny, Debbie Malone. Hey, brother, good to see you. You wake up, Michael, wake up. There's no way it was supposed to cause. Yeah, even now, I mean, to go for a 10-minute ride. Put vitamin E on your scar. Oh, okay. I've been putting this expensive, you know, scar thing by plastic surgeons. It worked perfect on my hand, but I still have this thing. But then again, it hasn't been a month yet, so I'm okay. Hey, Naz. Sorry, it took me so long to find the button to stop the echo. It was a tap. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We had fun. If you were with us uh, on Show 400 on Friday, we really had a good time. We love John with you. Thank you so much. Uh, you're not an artist. <laughs> Painter. Naproxen. Naproxen. Is that something for the thing? The graffiti can be seen in downtown. The graffiti can be seen in downtown LA. That's true. Those con artists. But when I first came to, you know, before I came to this country, the American embassy gave me a booklet about Americans, about you people. So one of the things I remember said, don't be overly nice to Americans. Americans are very nice, very good. They will welcome you. They will... Even if you're a stranger, they will talk to you right away. They're friendly. But don't be overly nice because they might get suspicious. All of a sudden, they think you're trying to sell them something, like extended car warranty or something like that. So remember, if you're an immigrant, don't be too, too nice. They become suspicious. Don't ask the host of a party for a tour of their home. If they're doing a housewarming party or they invite you to their home, don't ask for a, you know, a tour of the house. You know, let them offer it if they want to. Especially if they have a meth lab in the garage. You know, you're really going to make them nervous if you ask for a house tour. But then again, if you have a meth lab, you're not going to do a home warming party. <laughs> maybe a garage warming, and it might catch it on fire, and you get arrested. But hey, all right, don't brush your hair in any place other than the bathroom or in private, of course, especially if you have fleas. You don't want to do that anywhere but in the bathroom. Americans think that's rude. Okay, it's okay to take the last piece of pie, but ask everyone around first if they want it. Like if you, there's a pizza, and there's one piece left. It's rude to Americans to go and take that last slice. Well, unless you're a college student, then it's okay. If you're a college student, it's okay. Catherine, hello all. James Blind is here. Place for Cabbage Patch Doll Collectors. <laughs> it is. Okay, let's see. 
It's an echo, echo, echo. Did anyone watch the video about how to teach scammers their own medicine? I think I saw something like that from you, Amy. The graffiti can... Okay. So, well, I've noticed people brushing. <laughs> I've noticed people... Let's see. What if it's a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of a quarter of a piece? Just take it. Well, I've noticed people brushing and combing their hair in public more often now. Yeah, that was supposed to be rude in the U.S. a long time ago. In the South, if they ask to see the house, we just say, go ahead and look around yourself if you want to. That's funny. All right, so this is good. All right. Uh, here's your questions, people. Here's your question for the night. I didn't, I didn't do the top 20 from the night before because some of you verbally said it and it would have been crazy for me to go back and get it all. So, uh, let's see. Never, Okay, never take the last slice of pizza. Okay, here's your first question tonight. First question is, give me the worst name or slogan for a campground. This came from Rita. Worst name or a slogan for a camp ground. Worst name or a slogan for a camp ground. Okay, let's see. First name is Suzanne Werder, how are you? Did you guys know Suzanne is an artist and she does beautiful, beautiful paintings? Chris Rosetti is here. Crime Tape Acres. <laughs> that was fast. That was fast, Rosetti. I hope your wife and daughter arrived safely and you cleaned the house. The body dump. <laughs> Dave Ebert. Can't we forget you? <laughs> Chucky's playground. <laughs> oh, that's scary. MIA, missing in action. Chainsaw, <laughs> Chainsaw campground. That's funny. Bob's bomb range. <laughs> okay. Campgrounds for divorce. Grounds for divorce. Okay. No old RVs allowed in campground, just new RVs, okay. Ha Hiawatha was here. <laughs> Who's Hiawatha? I don't know Hiawatha. I know I know Bigfoot. I know the boogeyman. Uh, I know Jason. I don't know who's Hiawatha. Bear snack. <laughs> Bear snack. Good one. Good one. Oh, no laughter here? Let's do it again for you, Rochelle. That's funny. Transgender Boy Scout Camp. Okay. Burial Mound Mountain. Hello, Michelle. Toxic Waste and Tents. <laughs> Definitely not a horror movie set. No, definitely. Of course not. Not so happy campers. Okay. Naked Nether. <laughs> Nethersol. Nethersol. Neandersols. Neandersols. I've always had a problem with that. Hiawatha and Minihawa. Watch your language. Who's Minihawa? Minihaha. Hiawatha. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who's Hiawatha and now Minihaha. You're scaring me, people. More scary people. The swamp. Are my comments not showing up? Are they not? No, they are. Does a bear go in the woods? No, it does not. Stiff bags and pneumonia free. <laughs> Forest for rest. Enter but never leave campground. All right. Build your own igloos. <laughs> sure. Quick sand campgrounds. Camping with lice. <laughs> hmm. Campers come in but they never check out. Florida. <laughs> Oh, no. Florida. <laughs> Native Americans. Oh, Hiawatha and Minnehaha. Did you guys know our friend um, Pancho? Frank is Native American. He's an Apache tribe. So it's an honor to have him. Secluded distance socializing. Sure. As a comedian, Naz doesn't really want any Minnehaha's. No, I want big ha -ha's. You're right. Tick stack to <laughs> ticks, get it? Tick stack to falling trees, Cam Brown. <laughs> no free Wi Fi. 
This is funny. All right, it's time to hydrate and share people. Hydrate and share. Tented and dented. <laughs> the fire armpit campground. Free rabies. <laughs> Comedians retirement community. <laughs> Smoky bear campgrounds. This ain't lame. It's intense. <laughs> Off the grid campgrounds. Stay at your own risk, right? Burning forest campgrounds. I love it that Amy laughs. I love that when you laugh at <laughs> burning toast, burning forest, not burning toast. That's how it starts with toast trying to toast toast. But then what do you do with toast before you toast it? What is it called? If before it got toasted, I don't know. No TP, just TPs. Gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> Ring of fire available. Oh, wait, we have fire rings available. <laughs> okay, let's see. Camp gowns. Camp, what? Camp gowns for the afterlife. And toasted. Is that what it's called? It's called bread. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Ooh, that hurts. Were you in a cult, Suzanne, or just by mistake? It's called dough? No, it's called toast. Come on, people. Come on. Don't try to defend the language here. It's called toast, even though it's not toasted yet. Lost Boys Campground. Please have picture made at the entrance. <laughs> Hippie Hop Campgrounds. I think toast is just an abbreviation for toasted bread. Johnny Cash song. Ring of fire available. Oh, wait. We have fire. Your story will be a movie someday. <laughs> That's funny for a Camp Brown slogan. <laughs> It'll be a, a scary movie, right? We'll bug you. Johnny Cash. Not <laughs> I didn't know. I, I love Johnny Cash. And I just... But I don't know... That he had a song called Ring the Fire and he and Suzanne Werder fell in it. We have fire. Let's read it. Fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. <laughs> okay. Perfect. I'm learning. Hey, it wasn't in that book the embassy gave me about which song Johnny Cash song. Spooky campground. <laughs> Spooky or spoken? Or Spokane, because that's getting close to Washington. And accompanied minors. <laughs> the Dirty Burger Campground. Kristen Ann, welcome to the show. First timer? Let us know. City and state, that's all we ask. Campgrounds for the afterlife. Voice texting for the lack of hands. Because <laughs> the birds are munching. <laughs> okay, Red Bug Hotel. Log in campground oh let's see what rita said just log in where the fish and bugs bite come and light our fire camp cramp and camp arrow in head <laughs> not arrowhead arrow in head crystal lake campground jason was here <laughs> the last time anyone ever saw you <laughs> what else did that book from the embassy say well well, they said when you hear people at the table behind you singing happy birthday, you have to join them. Doesn't matter who they are. They can be wearing those KKK robes. You still have to sing. Or they have the, you know, the swatchikas on their hand and their jackets. You still have to sing happy birthday. What else? Downtown Portland tent camp. That's scary, James. Fire answer us. Yoga campground. All you do is yoga. Yoga bear, huh? <laughs> Only for old folks. Okay. No. James, it's getting pretty bad out here in Oregon, especially Portland. Yep. 
Suzanne, my brother used to get excited when it rained because he thought it was a prerequisite for camping. Oh no. Sparky's Redwood Campground. You have to remember, the first time I, I camped was a few years ago. Never went. In Kuwait, there's no such thing. As, I mean, people used to go in the desert and camp. I'm not, wasn't about to sleep in the desert. So I never camped. The only camps we had were like training camps, which is hard to sing Kumbaya with a, you know, face mask on you and a rocket launcher on your shoulder. Just difficult to do that. <laughs> so I never went to camp. Sparky's Redwood Campgrounds. The bears here consider sleeping bags a tortilla. That's funny. Rusty Nails. I know I drive there Portland daily. I know. God be with you. Hey, James, if you want to plan an event, everybody now is getting back. I just booked three or four shows this last week. Praise God. Thank you for your prayers. But people are just done with the Omicron and started the planning. So, Camp Quisherbischen. <laughs> is that German? Quisherbischen. I, I don't understand. Ottawa, Canada. Hello, Brent. Oh, that's right. Where the truckers are right now. That's a bad camp. They're camping there. But they can't get GoFundMe. How you feeling, man? Are you out of the ER? Are you back in Oklahoma? Is your dogs okay? Is Audra back? What's going on? Lumberjacks Haven. In and out campground. Two tents. Two tents <laughs> campground. Hey, Crystal is from Canada. How is she doing there? Well, she's not in Ottawa. Everything now is going on is in Ottawa, the capital, where my sister lives. But it's like downtown, so she's okay. Haunted campgrounds, we always have room for one more. <laughs> Al Gore's and Greta Thornburg's con conservation camp. All right. Watch your back campground. That's funny. <laughs> Mosquito Alley. Good. Falling Timber Campground. Bad Nomads. <laughs> Cabin Fever Campgrounds. Devil's Tower. Zika World. <laughs> Sleepless Campground. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Did you feel like you needed to train when you went camping, Naz? I went with like 25 people and... What happened is Maha and the kids went with the church group and then I had a show. So really by midnight, I, I joined them. So the tent was already up and they've already had everything done. So all I did went and just slept in my tortilla, which is my sleeping bag. But it was, it was fun. The kids were a little, but that's about it. So anyway... Uh, about this book that the embassy gave me, they never gave me. It was just my joke. I'm making this stuff up as I go. But uh, but it's true. You know, there is some cultural things about Americans, like I said. They tell you. Did you feel like you needed to train? <laughs> Brent and Audra. It's Brent. Audra hardly joins. Let's talk about that later this week. I'm just starting on fall and our mask mandate is ending. March 31st, wow. Naz, were you in the Palestinian Boy Scout? <laughs> That's called the PLO. No, I was not. <laughs> Hello, Timothy Fakhouri. Forest Gump Campground. Fast Campground. Air, Bedouin, and Breakfast. <laughs> Airbnb, get it? Air, Bedouin, That's funny. No Netflix. Unwashed masses. Sticks and stones. China. <laughs> It's not your shadow, Cam Graham. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> good one. Good one, good one. <laughs> it's not your shadow. Someone is following you. Bark up the tree. The haunts. Bedouin Bath and Beyond. <laughs> Squid Game. Oh, that's funny. Squid Games. <laughs> that's funny. Cam David. <laughs> Shaky Acres Campground, Con Artist Training Ground, Essential Oils Campground, 
Investigation Discovery Tryout Camp. No book, we've been conned. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so what else was in that book that your embassy gave you, Naz? It was not. I made up that book. I took some facts, really. There's facts about, they tell you about how to understand Americans. And I made the book myself. So. But hey, it's a jo it's not a joke. It's just like, okay, I feel horrible. Okay, I'm sorry. There's no book. I made it up. I'm going to write it one day. Okay, it'll be the funny how Americans behave. Like Americans will love you, will do whatever you want. They're very nice and sweet until you cut in line in front of them and then they kill you. They will literally beat you up if you stand in line in front of them. So, stuff like that. No book. <laughs> so, out of the hospital, yes. Heart is fine, just missing beats. Oh, maybe you, because you're still in love with Audra, you're missing beats. With PACs, still maybe they can fix it with meds. I hope so. No blockages, praise God. CAT scans is fine, praise God. Scary low blood pressure happened. Interesting. Oh, well, glad you're out. Glad you're fine. Break when... No, Baba's Swamp Cabins, Our Lady of Wetsets Milk. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. What a nice Catholic camp, huh, Gene? <laughs> Survivor campground. Jail. World of Weasels. Holy ground, Camp Ronco, Ron, Co, okay, MASH unit campground in Korea, Lizard Land, don't close your eyes, campground, Prosperity Gospel Golden Campground, <laughs> Camping fifth, fifth Wheel Style, yes, write that book, The Middle of Fifteen, the middle of I-5 campground. <laughs> Must wear plate campground. Scooby-Doo mystery machine campground. Oh, that's funny. You guys. Yoga Berra campgrounds. Yogi Bear. I used to watch Yoga Bear. And Boo Boo, his sidekick. Camp COVID. Made us like bears. Like, oh. So whenever I saw a bear, I was like, hey, Yogi, come here. Camp COVID, only at restaurants, Naz, if you break in line. Oh, I don't know. That. Especially when you're hungry. Are we there yet? <laughs> we bought the dog. Who brought the dog? Missing persons camp. Bear with me <laughs> campground. Popular campground. Birds, bugs, and bats campground. Camp 24-7 election <laughs> coverage. We can't promise that was mud. <laughs> Lord Fauci Fungi Forest. <laughs> Remember Lord Farquhar from, what's his name? <laughs> from the, uh, ah, I can, can I believe the green, oh, Shrek. Remember Lord Farquhar? He looks like Fauci a little bit, kind of, but longer hair. Lord Fauci <laughs> Farqua. Or in traffic, okay. The Newsboys Campgrounds. Lumberjack Axe Sharpening Campground. Did you know about glamping? No. <laughs> What's glamping? That's camping with what? Hazardous, Katie Brimmer Hazardous Campground. Hi, Katie. Welcome, first timer. Thank you for joining us. Let us know. Only city and state. That's all we ask, Katie. All right, Brent said Texas Chainsaw Camp. Are we done yet, campgrounds? Knock, knock, who's there? Jehovah Witness Campground, <laughs> okay. That's good. The campground, campground. We're not a cult campground, sure. <laughs> Hydrate and share already? Yes, it is 9 o'clock. Every 15 minutes, if you're new with us, we hydrate and we share because we want you to stay hydrated.
Guys, tomorrow I have a very interesting person on my podcast at 6.30 p.m. Her name is Katie Lay, and she's a voiceover actress. And really, you will understand, you will remember some of the person, uh, the characters, the voices she's done, including um, she was on the Adventures and Odyssey series. So you will recognize her. Uh, so she'll be with me. She's an actress. She's a voiceover. She's very well known voiceover actress. She does this big uh, Comic Con, what I call it, whatever. But. She's a believer, so it'll be fun. I don't know her. She was referred to me by uh, one of the guys that used to work for me. And just, she'll think it's going to be great. Hi, Dritten Share. Have the trees on the right of the screen behind Ness been burned halfway? <laughs> it looks like it, huh? Yep. I couldn't afford the real, you know, green, evergreen forest. That's all I can get for $2. Outhouse camp. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Hide. Moses and Aaron Brothers Wilderness Campground. 40-year tent rentals available. <laughs> Double dog dare you <laughs> campground. Boot camp campgrounds. Pick your... <laughs> Glamping, a form of camping involving accommodation and facilities more luxurious than those associated with traditional camping. Glamping is likely uh, a satisfy any city slicker seeking a little refuge. That's me. For me, camping is like Motel 6. That's going, why, you know, going, you know, that's it. Roughing it up for me is Motel 6. That would be it. So glamping would be a good idea. Without foregoing any of life, yep, that's me. I need a bathroom, I need Wi-Fi, and I need coffee. You get me those three, I'll go anywhere. Kitties campground. Oh, I might be able to tolerate that. Glamping. We're far out campground. Camps for gramps. Larry the cucumber. Night, guys. Audra came home tonight, and we are moving again tomorrow. Ouch. Leaving Oklahoma again. Cannibal camp. Never come back in one piece. From Monty, my 11-year-old. That's funny. Good job, Monty. Camps for cramps. Right. I see you campground. Everywhere is your bathroom. Glamping, glamorous camping, RVs and such. Mm. We used to be evergreen campground. <laughs> used to be. Lost corpses. <laughs> What's all we ask is city and state and single status. No, we don't ask for single status. You're on your own, Michael, for that. You know, if you keep refusing to show who you are, then we don't believe you're a real person, Michael Ramirez. You're an intelligent, what do you call it? Artificial intelligence that's acting like a nice guy named Michael Ramirez from Azusa, California, a single man. I asked you to come to my men's conference. You didn't show up. We asked you several times to come on the live show. When we do the live stuff, I did not see you. So, I'm coming to that conclusion. If you think I'm wrong, show me your face and I will talk. Call me. <laughs> Prius owners eco-friendly camp. Oh no, Lorax camp. Affordable housing. <laughs> no camping for me. I'm an indoor pet. I'm like you, man. Just bath in the river campground. Bathe in the river. Michael. <laughs> the average American thinks camping is going camping in a motor home or a fifth wheel trailer. Oh, I thought camping means you go in a tent. And that's it. Katie, you don't need to tell us if you're single or not. That's just my Ramirez being my Ramirez. Find your own food campground. Formerly a leper colony. I'm single. <laughs> Smoking the bear <laughs> campground. Nez, are you implying that Mike Ramirez might be a robot? Or yes, I am. We dig up to you <laughs> for, for a forager's folly. Camelas <laughs> cauldron campground. Cam get dirt on everything. The tinted pants. Okay. 
Has Michael's agent contacted Ness's agent to book a meeting? Not yet. You can act on his behalf, Belby. All right, it's time for the Guinness Book of World Record, people. Guinness Book of World Record. What does that mean if you're new with us? You, that means you can win this beautiful toilet paper, ladies and gentlemen. It is soft and it's to play. And all you have to do is make three guesses. I'm going to read something from the Guinness Book of World Record. And if you can guess it correctly or close to the number, if you're the closest to that number, you will win this beautiful toilet paper. Today is National Day of Fettuccine Alfredo. It's National Fettuccine Alfredo. So in the Guinness Book of World Record, the largest bowl of pasta, the record attempt took place outside Krokau Tauron Arena, where its annual half marathon was also taking place. The pasta was measured in a giant wooden ball, measuring six feet, 16 feet in diameter, 34 feet in depth, and it took 40 chefs over 19 hours to cook and prepare the pastas. Once the record was completed, they added a bolognese sauce made of minced pork and beef, tomato, oregano, oh, now we're talking food, salt, pepper, and onions to the pasta and served it to over 10,000 people. How much? Oh, shoot, Nath. No, 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 no. You have to tell me. Okay. How many pounds did it wait? I have to find out. Hold on, because I had it. What day is it? Okay. Okay. Don't look it up. Don't Google it. Don't look it up. Don't Google it. I'm just giving you the record. I got a new computer after seven years of my beautiful iMac that never breaks. My MacBook Pro never bra broke, never shut down. After seven years, it's just getting really old, so I got a new computer. So the longest, lar longest, largest bowl of pasta, how much did it weigh? Over, let me tell you how much did it weigh? Over, over 10,000, under 50,000 pounds. Over 10,000 pounds, under 50,000 pounds. Give me your best answer so you can win this beautiful Toilet paper. How many pounds? Alrighty, let's see what you got. Okay, mm, Fettuccine Alfredo, heartbreak on a plate. <laughs> You're scaring me about Michael being a robot, a robot or something. That's why they call it glamping. Oh, good, I need toilet paper. <laughs> okay. You and Michael, you might like my... No, you won't because you'll both be without toilet paper. That would be horrible. In an RV or fifth wheeler is not real camping. Use tents only. We're rooms, with rooms and showrooms. Shrooms. <laughs> Michael. Okay, let's see. If I had bolognese sauce, it isn't Alfredo. Okay, Amy said. It's over 10,000, Amy. Try again. How much TP was needed after the meal? <laughs> Too much to recall. 10.432 for Amy. 11.432. Kristen Ann said 25,000. Amy, 13,111. Sorry, Naz, my internet cut out after, say, 10,000 and under 50. 10, between 10 and 50,000. Suzanne Werder, 27,643.810 and 38,217. Remember, you cannot look it up. Just make a good guess like Becky Ottenberry's 10.5, 11.5, and 22.5. And she's doing fourth. 33.5. Okay, we'll take four from you tonight only. Bobby Miller said 24.555, 25.555, and 26.555. Rita said 15,000, 24,000, 42, 144. Even if it was 50,000, it's not enough. Okay. Michelle, 45, 6, 78, 32, 4, 56, and 20,000. Okay, let's see. Nineteen eight sixty five for James. And okay, Bobby Miller. If you have 
If you have a bad back or spine, not even an air mattress will fix you on the ground in a tent, right? Catherine Allen said 45, 6, 7, 7, 12, 3, 45, and 34, 5, 67. And then coming very soon. Dolores said 10, 2, 37, 12, 3, 66, and 49, 158. Dave Ebert, 12, 3, 47, 14, 2, 34, and 23, 6, 44. Sarah, 10, 5, 5, 5, 25, 5, 5, 5, and 45, 5, 5, 5. Michael Ramirez, 45, 6, 78, 32, 4, 56, and 20,002. Rochelle, 15, 379, 25, 359, 35, 339. Debbie Malone said 10, 1, 11, 44, 8, 77, and 12, 321. Uh, sorry about that. Strike the highest one. Okay. My kitty cat Samantha is on my belly. Well, thank you for sharing. I can't be an agent to anyone who is in on the fern. <laughs> right. The rooster and ruby hen would love, of course, some of that pasta. They just finished their dinner. Spaghetti, that counts. Store, snore, oops. Uh oh, no, 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 don't do that. Snores and s'mores, campground. All right, are you all guests? Did you all guess? Katie, did you guess? There's 82 people here, and I expect all of you to make some guesses. Go ahead. Over 10,000 pounds, under 50,000 pounds. Going once. Come on, people. Going twice. What is the fern, or should I ask? Okay, sold, sold. The fern is the name of a movie that my short film that my son did in uh, Michael Ramirez uh, is asking for the sequel, Fern 2. So that's what happened. All right, we said sold, 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 taking talking way too loud while others are sleeping campground samantha said fourteen five thirty three. okay good now we got cats and and ch the chicken if the chicken and the rooster cannot cannot guess we can't have dogs so here we go ladies and gentlemen the record was seventeen thousand four hundred and seventeen seventeen thousand four hundred and seventeen i think the closest one was Mr. Spatula James Blind with 19,800 uh, something. James Blind, he said, where are you, James? Where are you, James Blind? James Blind, he said, James Blind, 19,865. 19,865, I think that is the closest. Let's do the recount. 19,000, 19,865. That gives you 2,448. The next one said minus 15,000. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Somebody said 15,000. Okay, what's that? Wait, wait, Mr. Spatula, hold on. 17,417 minus 15,000 is equal to 2,417, where 19,865 minus 17417 equals 2448 i think the one who said 15000 is the winner rita said 15000 so rita therefore is the winner and i apologize profusely mr spatula here we go i don't think i'll be coming to oregon doing a concert cuz mr spatula james blind is mad at me rita Enjoy this beautiful toilet paper. Thank you for your contribution, people. And I think it's time to hydrate and share. All right. We have eight minutes left, and I have a question for you. I just want to know more about you, so tell me. What's your favorite Girl Scout cookies and how many can you eat? That came from Mr. Rossetti. What's... Okay, what's your favorite Girl Scout cookie and how many can you eat? Okay, let's do...
Okay, where's Nas? Here we go. Let's see. Congratulations. Good night to all. Got to go get up at five. I'm sorry. Have a good night, Dolores. Thank you for joining us from Louisiana. His spatula is curled up. Oh, no. Congrats, Rita. Yes. Fashion on the toilet paper. Your toilet paper treasure. Treasure and make it last. Save trees. Two squares at a time. <laughs> Kristen Ann, tell us where you at. City and state. That's all we're asking. Trust me. That's all we ask. Uh, another Steve Harvey. Yep. Oh, time to hydrate and shit. Please, not another prank about the winner. It's not a prank. I just, you know, the numbers were very close. It's just, it's hard to do them in your head. Well, my head. It's hard to do them in my head. Way to go, James. I'm sorry. BB said, well, we're not taking BB's orb or Mimi's. We are stuck with humans. The chocolate chip cookie, I would eat two bags of it in four days. Ooh, not to self. Wait until Ned finishes the math before congratulating anyone. <laughs> okay, think mints for sure. Katie Brimmer, definitely thin mints, at least a whole box, just at least. Okay, Katie, just let us know what city and state you guys at. That's all we ask. The chocolate chip cookie, I would eat two. I'm out of chocolate. I'm going down fast. I'm sorry, Debbie. Someone, someone, can you? Um, is any of your sister within <laughs> within driving distance to hand you a bag or so? You know what? Go to the grocery store. There's always those Girl Scouts standing there. Thin men, thirty cases in one sitting. Girl Scout cookies intentionally come out during Lent. Oh, while you're fasting, haha. Uh -huh. Meant the entire bag. Thin mints, the mints, the whole box. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I shouldn't hydrate now. No, don't. Don't drink water after midnight. Let's see who else. Samos. Okay, Phillips is thin mints too. I ate five boxes of thin mints, but they didn't work. It didn't help, huh? Because they're thin mints. Make me chubby, Mike. I need chocolate now. <laughs> Billy Graham cookies are heavenly. <laughs> what? Oh, the Graham cookie. <laughs> I have a friend on Facebook. will sell you them and get it delivered too. Oh. <laughs> no, stay with us, Debbie. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, what's your... I don't know what's my favorite. I know I can't... I don't eat mint chocolate. Somehow, I just... I didn't know they have one with this bubbles. The one with chicken pox. That green one here on the bottom. The third one down on the right. On your left. Stays right. Your left. This one looks like it has chicken pox. There's two of them. I like that. I've got a water of life coming out of me, Cam <laughs> Well, you can go anywhere, Bobby. Mother-in-law cookies. It's good seeing them disappear. <laughs> All righty. It's 9.20. In three minutes, we're going to start asking you if you have any prayer requests. I can't really decide. Uh, whatever someone puts in front of me, I eat those. That makes sense. I think John and John just devour them. You know, like when I see girls crowd sell them, I just grab four or five boxes and then come home and boom, they're gone. Chocolate over peanut. Oh, Amy, now we're talking. Peanut butter cookies, they are called. Oh, chocolate over peanut butter. No, I want peanuts in chocolate. You put nuts in milk chocolate, I'm in. You got me. Nas, tomorrow I'll be at Azusa, in and out, 3 p.m. Be there, my tree. <laughs> tomorrow at Azusa, in and out, 3 p.m. Are you serious? 3 p.m. Okay, you got a deal. 
If you don't show up, I'm coming to your house. I know how to find you. Remember, I have bodyguards, right? <laughs> I know how to find you. I'm coming. 3 p.m. tomorrow, in and out. There must be MSG in those Girl Scout cookies. Tag alongs. They have new cookies. Mamul. That's an that's a Mediterranean like date cookie. No, tomorrow I'll be in Azusa in and out. You promise? <laughs> oh, Kristen Ann is coming too. <laughs> okay, well Naz, I hope that after tomorrow afternoon we can find out if if Michael Ramirez is real or not. No, you'll find out tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> not after tomorrow. Tomorrow. Chris Martell's here. How are you? It's my birthday. All right. Happy birthday, Chris Martell. Oh. Happy birthday. All right. Happy birthday. I know you were trying to get in the, sh the show on Friday and didn't work for the audio. So welcome. Happy birthday. Happy 32nd birthday. Actually, stage right is our left and Naz right and stage. Okay, you're confusing me now, Bob. We'll, we'll, we will come to, no, just, let me just get Michael Ramirez first. And, and then you guys can come, but let me, let me meet the real human first. Goat meal cookies. Oh, what is that? They sell that in my country, not here. That's what I said after tomorrow afternoon, not before. Oh, that was my problem. To poor internet connection. All right. Happy birthday, Chris Martell. Funny, Chris. You're funny, man. All right. This is how not to know what your left hand, what your right hand is doing. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, sir. Happy birthday, Chris. Yes. Happy birthday. We're happy. And ever, if you have a birthday, let us know. We will do that. Katie, Katie Brimmer and Katie Ann refusing, Kristen Ann refusing to tell us where they, what city and state they're at. Computer cookies. <laughs> That's funny. I try to remove this as fast as I can. Okay, Will or Michael, what? Or Michael Ramirez will be scared away if all of us, yep, let's ease, let's ease them in. Cedar Falls, Iowa. Hello, Katie Bremer, Bremner from Cedar Falls, Iowa. Welcome. I think you're the first Iowan we have. We had, we had Utah. We, had, uh, we have Washington. We have Oregon. We have California. We have Arizona. We have, you know, we had Florida, Mississippi, of course, Louisiana, Nashville, Tennessee. We have Virginia. We have all these different places. Oh, Pittsburgh. We have Ohio. We have Michigan. You name it. We're all over. We take a picture of Michael Ness to prove that I will. I have a problem currently. My left hand doesn't know what my <laughs> stop it. They have chips, computer <laughs> level. I've said Anaheim, California twice, I promise. I'm sorry, Kristen. Okay, so were you at the city church yesterday? When I did the service, Kristen Ann, at Love Hope City, Anaheim, Cal, my grammar's slipping, needs sleep, but still trying to stay up with you all until the end. Wow, that sounds dramatic. <laughs> okay, bring John and camera crew film me lunch with your lunch. Where's Michael? He backed off across from Disney. Awesome. Wow. Our ministry, uh, Voice of the Refugees, it's Anaheim. Michael will only come if a single lady is also there. Okay, cootie bug cookies. Cootie. Thank you. You. We have Arizona. You have Arizona? I did. I think once in a while we get Arizona. Who's in Arizona? How was yesterday's service now? It was great. We had a great time. It was a great message. I would love for you to go back and listen to it. It's about unity, so it's really good. And if, uh, if you go to City Church in Anaheim and watch the message, you truly, really, 
Yes, sir, my little poodle came too. I left early. Oh, I saw your little black poodle that was walking without a leash and following you. I remember. That's right. All right. Thank you for joining us, Christian. All right. It is time for, the, oh, it's 926. It's prayer time. Prayer time. If you have any prayer request, I have a big prayer request, people. Pray for our kids our, in schools. Pray for that. It's really harsh. It's really heavy on my heart. It's the confusion. There's there's so much confusion going on. There's so much darkness going on in our public schools. Just young kids, it's not their fault. They're bombarded with crap, with garbage that confuses who they really are. And it's just horrible. It's just horrible. And you know what? It takes away the innocence of the ones that you try to to raise innocently. Just boom. And you know, you say, okay, well, I want to protect my kids. But then you pray for those other kids that don't have, sometimes the parents don't care or the parents don't, or the parents are confused too. It's just so much confusion. How much darkness and you know I pray pray that Jesus' light will hit our nation again. That people will wake up and see the truth because the truth will set them free. And it just ah I'm sorry, it's just really on my heart. Pray for John who broke ouch a tooth and hurt his tongue. Ouch. His tongue has an abscess and it hurts to talk. He met with a surgeon to I'll meet with oh, we'll be praying for John. Your show on February twenty fifth is the same night Big Daddy Weave playing in the packing house in Redland. Okay, well I'm in Himmet. Himmet. I love Big Daddy Weave. Say hello to Mike Weaver, he's a friend. Not a close friend, but migraine all day will be praying for you, Rita. Pray for this. Camp smoke, smoke signals. Okay. Pray for our nation. Pray for Tonga. Me, Kingman. Yes, sir. My little poodle came to I left her. Okay, let's see. Who else needs prayer? It's tough being a kid right now. It's always in ways most didn't even anticipate. You're right. They've been taught it's okay to be anything and you can dress anywhere you want. That's true. Pray for the children. Breaks my heart for the little ones. Yes. Pray for Guinea Bissau. There was a coup attempt recently and 11 people were killed. Okay. Unspoken. We need the Jesus revolution to flood the land again. Amen. Prayers. Remember, uh, this is neat when you think about it. Uh, it all started in the garden with Adam and Eve and God said don't eat from this tree and several thousand years later Jesus is hung on a tree and before he hung on that tree he said if you I am the bread of life and whoever eats of me he will live you see that contra two trees don't eat from this eat from that one that's the gospel right there. And you know, so I'll see you pray for the area in Kenya that had a bad fire in a wildlife preserve. Oh, Maggie Jo and her son, of course, and spoken for Bobby. Thanks again, everyone, for the birthday wishes. Talk to you next time. All right. Remember, tomorrow, please join us for the at 6.30 p.m. here on Facebook and YouTube for the uh, what do you call it for the podcast with Katie Lee and uh, remember uh, when we chat tomorrow it's not it's not this show it's not live with Ness so there's no reason to say hi hello everybody and this and that and I'm doing this and I'm eating that that's lovely if you do it on live with Ness on the podcast if you have a question ask it if you want to make a comment make a, a comment related to this that would be awesome. I appreciate that. It's going to be wonderful. So I'll see you tomorrow night. God bless you. Have a great night. And thank you for the laughter. <laughs>
that's a bad way to close the show. But hey, 